Walter the Baker. Long ago, in a town encircled by a wall, lived Walter the Baker, his wife Anna, and their son, Walter Jr. Walter the Baker was known even outside of the walls of the town. He was the best baker in the whole duchy. Every morning, while everybody was still asleep, Walter began baking his breads, rolls, cookies, tarts, and pies. Anna sold the baked goods in the store. No one could resist the warm, sweet smell drifting from Walter's bakery. People came from near and far to taste the delicious rolls. The Duke and Duchess, who ruled over the duchy, loved Walter's sweet rolls. Every morning, Walter Jr. carried a basket of warm, sweet rolls to the castle they lived. Mmm, said the Duchess, spreading jelly on her roll. Ah, said the Duke, putting honey on his. And so each day was the same as the day before, until one early morning, when Walter's cat was chasing a mouse and tipped over a can of milk. What will I do, cried Walter. I cannot make sweet rolls without fresh milk. Walter grabbed a pitcher of water. I hope nobody will notice the difference. He said, and he poured the water into the flour to make dough. Now, you and I may not be able to tell the difference between a roll made with water and one made with milk, but the Duke, and especially the Duchess, could tell the difference. Ugh, cried the Duchess after she took a bite. What is this? roared Duke. Where is Walter the Baker? Bring him here at once. So Walter was brought before the duke. What do you call this, roared the duke. This is not a roll. This is a stone. And with that, he threw it at Walter's feet. I use water instead of milk, Walter admitted, hanging his head in shame. Pack your things and leave this town and my duchy forever, shouted the duke. I never want to see you again, my duke pleaded, Walter. This is my home. Where will I go? Please give me one more chance, please. The Duke remembered Walter's good rolls and how much he and the Duchess would miss them. You may stay, but only if you can invent a roll through which the rising sun can shine three times, said the Duke. It must be made from one piece of dough and it must taste good. Now go home and bring me such a roll tomorrow morning. Poor Walter, worried and sad, he trudged back to his bakery. Walter worked all day and night. He made long rolls, short rolls, round rolls, twisted rolls. He made thin rolls and he made fat rolls. Walter beat, pulled, pushed, and pounded the dough. But it was all in vain. He could not come up with a roll that would please the duke. By early morning, Walter had only one long piece of dough left. It's hopeless, he cried. In a sudden fit of anger, he grabbed the last piece of dough and flung it against the ceiling. Stick there, he yelled at the dough. But it didn't. It fell and twisted itself as it dropped and plopped into the pail of water. Anna and Walter Jr. were awakened by Walter's yelling. They rushed into the bakery. Just as Walter was about to dump out the water and the twisted piece of dough. Father, stop, shouted Walter Jr. Look. Anna quickly looped the dough into the hot oven. Soon it was brown and crisp. She took out the roll and handed it to Walter. It had risen very high, but it had three holes. Walter held up the twisted roll and smiled. He saw that morning the sun was shining through it three times. Walter put the roll in a basket and rushed to the castle to deliver his invention to Duke and Duchess. The Duke and Duchess saw the morning sunshine through the roll three times. Then they each took a small bite. Walter was afraid to look because he had no idea how it would taste. 
Well done, said the Duke. Perfect, exclaimed the Duchess. They were both glad that Walter would not have to be sent away. And Walter was happy, too, that he could stay. Now pray tell us, what do you call this? Asked the Duke. Ah, uh, yes, pray tell us, Walter stammered as he tried to come up with a name. What was that? Pre, pre, pretzel, said the Duke. Pretzel? It shall be. From now on, it shall be sweet rolls in the morning and pretzels in the afternoon, said the Duchess. Walter returned to his bakery and spent all day and night making pretzels for the whole town to taste. The very next morning, everyone cheered for Walter the pretzel maker.